So you find that the one inch engagement pin on your RT3 snowplow no longer engages and locks that plow to the truck. Problem is more than likely these two small springs below here. All right. Now these springs, the purpose of them is so that when you flip this on off lever either to the on or off position, what those springs do is they put tension on this one inch pin, either pulling it out of or engaging it into the plow and locking it in place. Now in today's tech service video, what we want to describe is how do you repair or replace those springs. It's a very simple technique. The only tools that you basically are going to need is a 916 socket wrench and a 916 box end. Let's take a closer look on what it actually takes to change those springs. So the first step of the procedure, of course, is with that 916 box end. You're going to place the box end wrench on the underside or on the nylock nut, which is actually retaining this bolt. This bolt is what actually keeps this lever on the plow itself. With the 916 socket, you're simply going to remove this bolt completely from the plow. Just like so. So now with the handle removed, both springs are hanging basically only kept on by the one pin that is connected to the shaft of the one inch pin. So now, starting with the, sh the spring that is closest to the inboard side, simply feed the spring through the slotted hole in the back side. Then the spring can come out through that slotted hole. Repeat the same steps for the second spring, simply bringing it through the slotted hole. So now, when you're reinserting a brand new spring into the system itself, all you gotta do is connect that last eyelet on the spring by sticking it through the slotted hole in the side, engaging it on the pin, and stuffing it through. Repeat the same step with the second spring. Catch the eyelet of the spring onto the rod, inserting it through the slotted hole. So now that you have the two new springs actually hanging on the rod itself, now it's time to reinsert the handle through those springs. So the rod end of the handle is fed through both springs. The handle is pulled up into position. The bolt is placed through the frame and you install the 916 nylock nut on the inside. And then tighten the 916 bolt to the predetermined torque spec. Now that you've got the springs reinstalled, you've got the handle back in place, it should work perfectly for you. Now remember, the part number for these springs are the MSC 05080, and they come in a set of two. So you only need to order one kit per side of the plow. Like any of these tech service videos, if anything that you saw in today's video is hard to understand, by all means, please feel free to call us on our tech service line and we'll be happy to give you a hand. Have a good day.